This is John Cole with GrowingYourGreens.com. I have another exciting episode for you coming out my bountiful front yard garden. My pepper plants are doing amazing. I got some huge peppers, like huger than I've ever had growing this year, so I'm quite excited. And the reason for this episode is because I got a special guest back in uh, today to share his expertise with you. His name is Josh Cunnings of the Boogie Brew Company, and he makes the world-class uh, compost tea Boogie Brew Pro now. And that's what I've been using in my garden, and it's definitely working. So the big thing is, there's a lot of videos on how to make compost tea, and you might know how to make compost tea, but even more than knowing how to make it properly, and I do have videos on that, so I'll post a link down below for my video on how to make compost tea. Um, you got to know how to apply it properly because if, even if you make the best compost tea in the world and you don't apply it properly, you know, you're going to lose the bacteria and the fungi and it's just not going to work as well. And I want you guys to have the best results. So we got Josh on the show today to share his expertise with you on how to apply compost tea the best. Now before we get into how to apply it the best, we're going we're gonna to talk about the ways that you probably shouldn't apply the compost tea. The first being the backpack sprayer or a pressure sprayer. So Josh, why shouldn't somebody use one of those pump sprayers to spray out their compost tea? Well, I mean, they can use a pump sprayer, John, but it's a lot of work and it's also more maintenance. You have to clean the sprayer out. And there's a school of thought out there that uh, most of the um, pressure screens um, that are built into the backpack sprayers can smash the delicate hyphae, which is the hyphal backs of the beneficial fungi that make up a good microbial compost tea and of course a fungal compost tea. And so both the microbes and the hyphae apparently suffer when they are you know, smashed at high, under high pressure um, through your typical pump sprayer or even worse yet through one of the electrified like the atomizing sprayers <laughs> that I like to use so much for neem and, and soap. And so generally, you know, mechanical systems, it's a good idea to stay away from them when you're applying a delicate microbial and ideally fungal solution of cultures, of life forms that are being applied to your garden. So the other reason uh, is that the backpack sprayer can uh, harbor what's called biofilm. And biofilm is the arch enemy of compost tea, and it's the natural exudate, the natural um, gassing off uh, from the microbes as they're brewing, you know, as the oxygen goes in, they're feeding on it, and then they digest the food sources that are also in the tea that you feed them, and they naturally poop out this stuff called biofilm. And if it's left unchecked in your, you know, previous batch of tea in the spray container, then uh, without it being thoroughly cleaned and dislodged, it can contribute to a poor, a subsequently a poor batch of biology on your next you know, go round of compost tea. So I generally tell people to stay away from using backpack sprayers, uh, atomizing sprayers, electrified tank sprayers of any kind, uh, pump sprayers of any kind, because those systems are gonna you know, damage the delicate life forms that are in the tea. This is supposedly, I, I've never seen research to prove or disprove this. I just know that this is, you know, common wisdom that's applied by tea nerds, <laughs> you know, to, to the application of, of compost tea. So, I mean, yeah, Josh, I mean, that makes total sense to me. I mean, kind of, I'm a kind of a pragmatic, practical guy and it, it sounds all good and the one main thing for why I don't use a backpack or pump sprayer with the compost tea is because you got to clean it out afterwards or you get that biofilm sludge stuff and that man I don't want to be cleaning out backpacks you can't even get your hands in there or yeah, nothing like exactly. that it just it's just too difficult so Josh let's talk about another way that people normally apply their compost tea like through their irrigation system or fertigation system yeah, I've seen that happen a lot. I mean, back in the day when I was a grower, I used to distribute my compost tea to my greater greenhouses and all their plants through a hose-fed, you know, distribution system. But here's the thing. I had to pre-flush the lines every time for a good 30 seconds, one minute, even two minutes with water and wait until the smell had dissipated of all the old tea that I had previously applied through that fertigation system. So it's a real pain in the ass and I always knew in the back of my mind this isn't right. This is not a hundred percent 
fresh biology that I'm applying. There is a lot of old biomatter that has accumulated in the hose system. So I always tell people do not apply fresh infusion of biology, fresh compost tea through any kind of pressure fed, you know, distribution, uh, hose line, drip type system, any system at all. You really want to minimize the length that the tea has to run through before it goes to the plants. Otherwise, your next batch of tea is only as good as the previous, you know, old matter that has sat in that system for could be one week, two weeks, even after a day, you know, that stuff really starts to turn on you. It turns anaerobic and it creates bad biological material that will subsequently infect your new batch of good biology that you're trying to feed your plants. So it really does defeat the purpose when people invest in these nice, you know, big tea brewers and then these pumps and, and hoses that come out of this brewer and go yonder to feed your soil with it. It sounds good in practice, but, excuse me, it sounds good in theory, but in practice it actually doesn't work at all, you know, it's a no-no. It will create problems no matter how hard you try to clean those lines. I mean, people go in there and they, they run hydrogen peroxide or vinegar or grapefruit seed extract or soap, you know, soap, hot soapy water through there. It just increases the maintenance. It's a pain in the ass. So I prefer not to apply the tea through any kind of fertigation system. All right, Josh, let's talk about another use of the compost tea that I'm actually all for is actually compost tea in hydroponic systems, you know, and maybe putting it into an ebb and flow tank or something like that. You know, what are your thoughts on using the compost tea in a hydro system? Well, again, I've seen this you know work really well before John but generally I tell people to shy away from putting compost tea into any kind of hydroponic chamber ebb and flow system because once again you, your system will become contaminated with old tea with old biomatter that naturally is going to accumulate and line the walls of the tank and again it's just the best tea is the cleanest, freshest stuff that doesn't have any contaminants from a previous batch of biology that has gone bad and infected the new batch of biology. So it's just more maintenance than it's worth. Uh, it's very, very difficult indeed for someone to really, truly maintain an ebb and flow tank system with living biological matter in it. Having said all that, I've seen it done successfully. Um, being applied as a as a flush in between nutrient changes in the reservoir um, just you know maybe tea for the bottom 20% of the reservoir uh, top the reservoir off maybe halfway with water and then apply that as a biological flush as a rinse and then immediately empty the reservoir out you know with another auxiliary pump or, or a um, um, like a shop vac, you know, get in there, uh, pull the contents out and refill the reservoir with just fresh water and or, you know, hydroponic nutrients, aka chemical fertilizers, um, which the tea, you know, having been properly applied as a bio rinse to the crop, that it will then harness those salts, help digest them, help make them more available and less toxic to the plant's roots. But nonetheless, you still run that constant risk of some old tea, some old biomatter sitting there and accumulating in that hydroponic reservoir and so it can lead to creating more issues than you know than it can help with. Mm. Awesome Josh, so let's go ahead and talk about now the two best ways to apply the compost tea and one is the way I like to use and one is the way Josh likes to use. So I just like to use a standard watering can. I could easily wash this out and put the compost in here and just water it in. Um, Josh, what kind of dilution should I be using? I mean, I like to use my stuff straight because I think more is better, man, in compost tea. And I've never burned my plants with compost tea, right? But I know you recommend maybe diluting the solution a little sure, bit, Sure, right? yeah, we, we believe less is more. You don't actually need um, a full strength tea. Uh, usually it doesn't hurt the plants unless they're brand new babies. There's usually never anything to worry about a, uh, about a full strength nutrient bound tea like our tea, the Boogie Brew tea. Um, but still, nonetheless, we like to sell value and we like people to get the you know maximum uh, bang, biological bang for their tea buck. 
And so honestly, you know, especially a recipe like Boogie Brew, it's so rich, so active. You can dilute it one to five, one to ten in that wow. general range, and it's going to work really well for you. So, you know, with a watering can, you could just put, you know, about 20% of it with the Boogie Brew tea and then just top it off with good, clean, chlorine-free water. All right, cool, Josh. So I know another way you like to do in a way that I've done before is actually using this sprayer here. And this is actually the ortho sprayer. Yeah. How come you're picking the ortho sprayer, man? I mean, isn't ortho like a chemical company? They're evil chemical company. You know, it's, it's amazing. Even the evil chemical companies make products that are actually worthy of purchasing. And the reason I like the ortho spray and dial, or dial and spray as it's called, is because this is just a bulletproof and very, very handy little device. Um, it has an excellent screen built into the, um, the little feeder tube that goes down into the you know bottom of the cup so this one has a uh, 32 ounce little you know hose attached reservoir on it and these this thing is just really well engineered plastic I'm very impressed with it It just threads right into place like so you want to just of course attach it to your hose this has a nice counterbalance you know hold to it very handy device and um, yes how ironic that these companies that want you to use this with, you know, what I think are evil chemicals, um, you know, leftovers, leftovers of World War II's bomb making, uh, you know, um, fertilizers, ammonium nitrate, and turn them into chemicals, you know, to bomb your lawn with. And that's what this is designed for, to put those evil chemicals in and then go around and dilute it. And they have an eight ounce setting, so that's eight ounces per gallon. And um, that's not very strong. That's only about a 1 to 16 dilution. So, very important that when you decide you're going to apply compost tea through one of these, instead of evil chemicals, right, you're going to put probiotic life in itself into your soil, you want to make the master batch of tea at triple strength. And that way you're getting a net of um, about a 1 to 5 dilution because at 8 ounces a gallon this is only a 1 to 16. 8 ounces is out of 132 a 1 to 16 dilution. So you're going to want to triple the strength of your boogie brew, at least double the strength of your boogie brew tea. If you do it at double strength you're going to get about a 1 to 8. I like to see people get a 1 to 5. That's still really really cost effective. You know we're talking pennies per gallon at the diluted cost. And so just you know fill it up right out of the um, right out of the bucket and there you go and this thing just threads right on like that and I like to put this on the hose first you know we'll show how the, oh, you want this on the hose first and then just get this onto um, a nice neutral flat surface you know once the red piece the actual gun is attached to the hose it's super easy to detach this bottom reservoir piece and oh my goodness it makes applying it to the raised beds in your garden John almost illegally easy you know it works so well I can't believe it um, and once I discovered this method I was hooked I was sold and the beautiful thing is you're absolutely minimizing the maintenance all right the only device you ever have to rinse out and clean of old biomatter besides your original tank that you make the tea in which is the bucket is gonna be the hose and sprayer itself which is as you can see such a simplistic device it makes it ridiculously easy to clean this and then subsequently you know use it on the next batch yeah it's even easier to clean my watering can <laughs> you can't cover the same amount of real estate you know I going know, around it, it going around with longer. one of these but the can is really good I mean the can is simple um, you know getting in there and cleaning this head out I guess this one this, does this come detaches, apart man. okay this that's good, good. yeah you want one that detaches like that for sure yeah. But yeah, what I like to do and how I like to apply my compost tea is like I'll brew a batch like continuously. I'll brew a batch today, I'll apply it tomorrow, tomorrow I'll, I'll brew a batch and I'll apply it the next day. And basically I'll brew the batch and dilute it down maybe a little bit or not at all and then just hit one or two raised beds with my batch. And then the next day I'll hit the next two raised beds or three raised beds and I'll keep rotating around my garden and by the time I'm done I keep going, you know, and I just start over again. It'd probably be far better for people that don't have them as much time as I do to just brew one batch and then you hit your whole garden, you know, at least once a week is what I would recommend to you guys. Josh, let's talk about how to create a double strength uh, mixture. So is that what you mean with that is normally when I make five gallons of Boogie Brew compost tea, I'll use like one cup total of, you know, the tea that's a half boost, half base, and then brew that. So to make double strength, you use 
two cups total and triple strings would be three cups total? Correct, or just keep it at one cup of ingredients and then um, use oh, yeah. less water mm. to begin with, you know, because you're gonna make such a concentrate and then dilute it across such a wide area, you probably won't even need five gallons of tea. I mean, we were able to do your whole front yard last night with less than two gallons of concentrated microbial extract grade boogie brew tea. So that made it really, really easy and it allows you to even run a lower output air pump. You know, the rule of thumb for a good aerobic infusion is one liter of air for every liter of tea. So this way, by using just two gallons of super strong tea, you could get away with as little as an eight liter per minute air pump, which can be commonly found, um, you know, like at pet supply places for under $20, which is fantastic, you know. So you're minimizing the maintenance, you're minimizing the overhead and how much power, you know, juice you have to draw, how much aqueous solution you have to create in the first place. You're concentrating that down into a Marmite grade, you know, thick, dark, chocolatey, rich, microbial extract of compost tea. And then you're taking this bulletproof, handy little device, the ortho, the other one is the chameleon. I do like the chameleon, but this has become my new favorite. It's just, it seems very reliable. I've had quite a few chameleons and they don't always absorb the same amount of water. Even though I have it set at eight ounces a gallon, they don't absorb the same amount of tea. You know, it seems like one batch I'll be sitting there waiting. Has it gone down? You know, I've only used a couple of ounces of tea. Whereas with this device, I noticed when we were, you asked me to test them all. So we tried three top brands and this was my favorite one. We had, you asked me to test it on your yard and I went around and I noticed how quickly I was able to deplete the contents, the concentrated tea that's in the little 32 ounce reservoir on the dial in, on the dial and spray and dial uh, hose end sprayer and just refill it and then go right back to reapplying it. Almost illegal how easy to <laughs> apply this is. I, it, it, it's a no-brainer. You have to use one of these devices. I would recommend to all of your viewers that they go out and invest in a really good kink-free hose, all right? Because that's gonna be the weak link in this chain of using a hose and a hose end sprayer to apply the tea. And let me tell you, when you've got some good pressure coming through that hose and you want to run it in the shower setting, you can reach far, far up into the foliage, you know, near the canopy of fruit trees, you know, and also spread it, you know, all over the foliage and deep down into the tissue structure of the plants and on down into the soil. It's just a no-brainer using one of these devices to apply probiotic life forms instead of evil chemicals. You're actually going to feed your soil instead of killing it. What a what an irony, you know, what a handy device. Yeah, I mean, I like that that ortho spray actually has a 10 year warranty, which is like unheard of. Like imagine if your iPhone had a 10 year warranty or something like that. And Josh, you, you kind of quickly glanced over that real quick, but I want to go back into that is, you know, when you apply, you, you guys learn the best ways to apply it, you know, the basically a watering can or the ortho dial in spray. But another thing that's very important is you guys know how, where to apply it, right? So Josh touched on it briefly, like, you want to foil or feed or that's like spray your leaves. Now don't do this in the middle of the day. I like right. to foil or feed actually in the evening. Whereas in the mornings, that's when I usually do my pest control. Um, you know, I spray on pest controls, uh, organic of course. Um, but also you want to hit the soil. So Josh, let's talk about those two methods and why they're so important to both hit the, the foiler, you know, the leaves and also the soil. Sure. Well, what you're doing is you're out competing any bad organisms with good ones. And in order to do that, you want full coverage. All right. So if there's some leaves over here that have gotten some slimy mold spores on them because they weren't able, the wind wasn't blowing them properly, you know, it's just the conditions were ripe for some anaerobic organisms to gain a foothold, you're going to go in there and just spray everything down, shower it all down, and you're going to coat all the leaf tissue structure of the entire plant and the soil that it's living in with a, ben a probiotic shower of beneficial organisms. And so those are gonna sit there and co out compete, out colonize any bad organisms. And so full coverage using one of these handy hose end sprayers makes it ridiculously easy to always win the battle of the good bug and, and always out compete any bad bugs that can try to populate themselves otherwise in small corners and pockets of your foliage and your soil and, and your whole 
you know, your, your whole garden system is that. It is an ecosystem. So you want to reach every corner of that system, just like the human gut. We're not what we eat. We're actually what we absorb. And it's the same with your soil. And if you feed that whole system, the foliage and the soil, and deep down and the topsoil, everything that your roots are living in, with good organisms, you're going to vastly increase the metabolic pathways and the absorption factors for your plants. You're going to outcompete any bad bugs, any bad mold spores. Um, it, it's just a, a no-brainer. It makes it super easy with one of these devices to hit everything and do it all very cost-effectively. And we're only talking one time per week. That's what keeps you on a winning streak. Doing this once a week is enough, believe me. Awesome, Josh. So yeah, I mean, next I want to go ahead and apply this. But before I do, I want to let you guys know that the compost tea, whether you're using miracle crap fertilizer or anything, <laughs> this stuff works no matter what kind of fertilizer you're using. Obviously, I would encourage you to use a organic biologic type fertilizer like I use such as compost and rock dust and kelp and all kinds of other natural ingredients you could check my other videos for that I think the next thing I want to do is uh, let's just go ahead and hook this up yeah. Josh and show you guys how easy it is so I actually have a little on off thing on my uh, hose end which is actually smart I would encourage all you guys to yeah. do that it makes things a lot easier when uh, transferring things out and the thing is this may leak but you know be forewarned when you tighten this up you got to make a good tight seal otherwise it may leak a little bit so i want you guys to know this in advance before you get one and say hey this thing leaks that's because maybe you didn't tighten it up and make sure you don't cross thread it all right so we got this thing on it's set to eight ounces the sh and then the shower setting there's three settings oops it's already leaking <laughs> well no it just came out a little bit oh, okay, okay and now check it out watch this Woo! yep there you go that's all it is that's how easy it is to apply the compost tea in my garden and i can almost hit this whole raised bed all the so way down easy. so so <laughs> easy to hit everything with this wow I, cool. I just love using these devices absolutely and i love to watch how quickly the contents of the cup the 32 ounce cup that's attached to this diminish themselves how quickly you can go through i mean you'll hit your whole pepper bed in no time at all with this thing it's fantastic yeah so once again you want to hit the leaves up top and then you know uh, hit all the areas of the soil i like to go around and like hit the soil underneath each plant and just get you saturate this everywhere to get the compost tea and the beneficial organisms everywhere in your garden i think next i'm actually going to go ahead and apply some of this compost tea and we'll be back at you to close out this episode. Yeah. All right, so we got Josh actually applying the compost tea to my nice fig tree that's pushing 16 feet tall. Had some amazing figs off it. And I, I wanna encourage you guys not to forget about your orchard and your fruit trees as well as your vegetables. You know, you wanna hit the leaves all up and down and you know, also the soil to basically get all those beneficial microbes, which are literally the driving force that drive the nutrients in your plants you know, throughout your whole entire ecosystem. Now, another thing I wanted to mention about that sprayer, it's really nice because it actually works. I'm, I've played with a lot of sprayers that don't work and it also has a nice, like a flexible uh, tube that goes into the reservoir. A lot of them are fixed. And then it also has actually a screen. So if you do just scoop out your compost tea into there and there happens to be some particulate, it's not gonna clog it up and it's not gonna stop its operation. So yeah, that's definitely one well-designed sprayer. So this last part of this episode is for you, those of you guys that actually are not yet on the Boogie Brew compost tea. Now Josh has a kit, you know, and it's pretty good price. It's, it's I think still over a hundred dollars, you know, with the filter and the Pro Brew kit, which I recommend to you guys. And I know a lot of you guys haven't yet purchased it because man, like a hundred something dollars, that's kind of a lot of money. But I want to let you guys know that your garden is worth it. But for those of you guys that don't want to spend over a hundred dollars, Josh has a brand new brew kit that's, you know, under $100 with everything you need, including a water filter for your garden, the pump, the Boogie Brew Pro T, the two air stones, a pump, C90 and everything. So I want to quickly go over, you know, this new package deal. What's this package deal called, Josh? Uh, we're calling it the Boogie Budget Pro Brew Kit. Awesome, man. So the first thing you're going to get is you're going to get the uh, Boogie Brew Pro Compost Tea. And Josh, this is... How much tea and how much will this make? So this one is the three pound pack. This is 
50% boogie base, one and a half pounds of base, and one and a half pounds of boost. It's our new Boogie Brew Pro that we've only launched earlier recently this year. Uh, this will make over 50 gallons of world-class concentrated compost tea, which you can then dilute through the ortho hose and sprayer, which will talk about why we've included that in a second so how much area will this cover Josh like this one bag of uh, three pounds once you dilute it with the eight ounce ratio and you make it a double strength and all this stuff oh I mean 50 gallons is a lot that'll cover hundreds and hundreds of square feet of real estate multiple times over for your typical you know raised bed garden even one that is not typical like John Kohler's here a three pound bag of tea is still a substantial quantity enough to see a big jump start in your garden and go out there, infuse it, use it before you lose it. We give you three pounds of wonderful biology in this Boogie Budget Starter Brew Kit. Awesome, Josh. So let's talk about real quick. I know when you brew the tea, you know, let's talk about how long you should brew it and then, you know, use it immediately. Don't let it like sit around. Don't turn your air pump off and then let it sit around for two days and then finally spray it out, right? No, that's brew correct. Like I said, infuse it and use it before you lose it. Brew that wicked badass batch of biology up and get it into the home where it belongs, the soil ecosystem, where the microbes and the fungal organisms that are in the tea can go ahead and colonize what's called the web of life, the microbial web of life in your soil and keep the root system strong and healthy and happy. Yeah, so I like to brew my tea like 24 hours, which seems to be a good amount of time. So aside from the tea, you're going to get the stuff you need to brew the tea. The first of which is you got to start off with some clean water. So Josh, you have a, a new carbon filter, right? What's that? The Boogie Blue yeah. Basic. Correct. Yeah. In an, in an attempt to reach a broader audience, uh, we created an even more affordable filter. We commissioned an excellent, reliable filter company to make these for us. This is the Boogie Blue Basic. It is a carbon only filter, John. So it does not contain any of the KDF membrane that the Boogie Blue has. However, this is still a sufficiently packed virgin coconut um, core carbon filter that it will give you a reliable 12 to 15,000 gallons of chlorine reducing capacity before it starts to clog. So an excellent lifespan filter. We're selling these by themselves for $30 and this is being included in the Boogie Budget Pro Brew Kit as a, a value added item that you can optionally you can optionally spec the Boogie Blue Basic filter in this budget brew kit. Awesome. So besides the uh, filter, you also got the uh, two air stones, air hose, and an active aqua pump. So let's talk about this pump, Josh. Why would somebody want to get this pump instead of like an aquarium pump? Well, this is an aquarium pump, um, but it's the Active Aqua brand, which is the Hydrofarm brand. It's actually very well built. It has a controller on it that allows you to increase the amount of air. You want to max it and run it to the maximum setting, and it'll just about push out eight liters of air per minute. Now, remember, you want one liter of air for each liter of tea. So this budget-priced pump for the budget brew kit will easily do two gallons of full strength tea. Now you can cover a lot of real estate with two gallons of tea when you then go and apply that concentrated two gallon tea in one of these ortho spray and dial uh, dial and spray, I keep getting it wrong, the name, the dial and spray ortho sprayer, hose and sprayer. You take your concentrated tea, you only need two gallons, that's the max that this pump will do at the reliable exchange rate of one liter of air for every liter of aqueous solution that you're infusing, for every liter of tea. So these are great pumps. The Active Aqua Series, very well built. We've been extremely happy with the Pro Grade, the higher output commercial duty versions of them that we feature in our higher end, you know, $100 and $135 priced um, full Boogie Pro brew kits. These budget brew kits are an extremely good value though, will allow you to create the same world-class tea as our bigger Pro brew kits, up to two gallons at a time, of the world's greatest full strength veganic uber compost tea, the Boogie Brew. All right, Josh, so let's talk about also you get this hose end sprayer that you guys saw. You know, Josh is actually in my very garden and you guys pretty much learned about this. I mean, it's got a 10 year warranty and it just works well. Any last comments on this uh, sprayer, Josh? <laughs> Again, so ironic that 
the evil chemical companies created such a handy device for applying probiotic life forms instead. Um, these things you just can't go wrong. Make your two gallons at triple strength of compost tea. So you're still going to want to use a full cup of ingredients, but instead of a five gallon bucket, you're going to go to about two gallons and then take that after 24 hours of brewing, put it into the 32 ounce container and eight ounce uh, run it at eight ounces per gallon the setting right here and then do it on the shower setting We've already talked about that go ahead and just spread those life forms all over your garden This just makes it so ridiculously easy to do. It's a no-brainer. This minimizes the maintenance This is as easy as creating a pot of tea herbal tea pot of coffee cleaning it up You know getting it into your body um, the same with this stuff. This allows you to get it into the soil where it belongs and clean it up and then be ready to do it again within a week. It, this makes it so easy that I would do it almost every day, at least twice a week with this system, <laughs> you know, and all at such a low price and easy to clean up as well. All Very right, important. Josh. So, I mean, also you're going to get the burlap brew sack that you might want to wash or minimally rinse out before you use to brew your compost tea. And then you're also going to get this. This is a C90 agricultural minerals so why don't you talk about this this is eight ounces why don't you talk about this real quick josh why would sure. you want to use this in addition to the composting actually they could use it with the hose end sprayer right yes that is correct they could just put a teaspoon of this right into the hose end sprayers reservoir and go ahead around at that eight ounces a gallon and then there's no risk of burning your plants when you only have one teaspoon that's subsequently being used to go through a whole gallon of material um, through the hose end sprayer um, the 8 ounces of C90 doesn't sound like much, but actually it's quite a bit. You're only going to need to boost your Boogie Brew tea with additional C90 once a month, if that anyways. We just love C90. We figured why not throw it into this kit as a wonderful value added on item. Just remember to go easy on it. You only need one teaspoon a gallon once a month. The tea already has 2% C90 in it. So this is just a supplementary dose, give you even more value in the Boogie Budget Brew Kit. All right, Justin, what's the price of the Boogie Budget Brew Kit? Okay, so for a limited time on the boogiebrew.net slash GYG secret webpage that's being set up for your viewers only, $59.99. After that, the price is going to have to go up to $64.99. Still a phenomenal value. That's without the filter. If you want to spec it with the excellent value, Boogie Blue Basic, carbon core only, 15,000 gallon lifespan hose mounted filter, then it's going to be $79.99 and then the price will go back up to um, $84, which is Either way, you can't beat those prices, $59 or $79 with or without the filter, depending on your needs. An excellent value for the Boogie Budget Brew Kit. Awesome, Josh. Yeah, I mean, I would encourage you guys to get off chemical fertilizers and get on a compost tea. Whether that's Josh's compost tea and he makes it really easy for you guys, you know, he's made a really good one. And if you want to make your own, we covered that too. I'll put a link down below to the episode where we actually have Josh, go over his compost tea open recipe. Open source, open source open compost source. tea. So you guys can open make your own, because we really want you guys, whether you buy Josh's or not, to get off the chemicals, and we want you guys to be able to grow the highest quality food, and all the ingredients in Josh's compost tea, in my opinion, allows you guys to do that. And, and dollar for dollar, bang for the buck, right? I'm gonna have to admit that by using compost tea, you're gonna get a better results than using the same a dollar amount of rock dust in your garden because it's gonna you're gonna apply it you know regularly and it's gonna start working immediately to basically put boost your plants up so that they can they are able to convert or the soil is able to convert the nutrients and make it bioavailable for the plants so that they could grow amazingly so that they can dance the tea is a winner <laughs> John the tea is definitely a winner pennies per gallon your cost get out there infuse it and use it before you lose it all that wonderful biology start brewing your way to a greener thumb today like a true compost tea pro with boogie brew with our excellent all new boogie budget value brew kit Awesome, Josh. All right, so that's pretty much the end of this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, hey, please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you didn't enjoy this episode, please thumbs down when to practice his videos. <laughs> no worries, practice your rule, dude. So, <laughs> actually, he doesn't. He, he, you're not allowed to rate his. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe for future episodes. Stay tuned for my upcoming episodes where I'm back in my garden 
growing all kinds of cool stuff and going on field trips to who knows where I'm going to go. And uh, be sure to check my past episodes. I have over 1,050 episodes now to educate you guys on how to grow your own high quality food, including many episodes on the compost tea, as well as rock dust and biochar and a lot of the things I like to use in my very garden to get these amazing growing results that I'm getting. So once again, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep on growing. This is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And today I have my beautiful girlfriend with me and we're going to make a video for you guys. Hi everyone, my name's Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> she's quite shy, guys. She's not used to the whole video thing. I kind of <laughs> rope her into doing these things. But anyways, we have her on the show for a very important reason.